All right, welcome back to Lost Cause. Ooh, golden poop, that's a good sign. Um, it's, uh, it's not a good sign, like, medically. If it happens to you, uh, definitely see a doctor. Or at least someone who can appraise valuables. But in Binding of Isaac, it's a good sign. Okay. Come on. Um, ugh, tedious. Uh, just show me the treasure room. You know that's what I want. There's nothing much to talk about until I get to the treasure room. <laughs> I mean, what, what am I going to say? Like, okay, in this room I am also uh, using the default uh, lost setup to just kill enemies and avoid taking damage. That is a thing I am doing and will continue to do until I find the first treasure room. Mm, okay, well, maybe I could blow up those skulls. Yeah, if you, even if I had just one bomb, I think I'd kind of rather blow up the skulls than the uh, tented rock. Although, mm, tented rock does have a chance of giving me a bomb, bomb back, so could still be the better idea. But with the Lost, I do like to be able to take some risks early on. And one of those risks is uh, wasting a bomb on some skulls in the hopes of getting Dry Baby. Or Ghost Baby would be fine. Well, I've got to be getting close to... Jeez, there's a big room in between me and the treasure room. Oh, great. And that guy's on fire. Oof. Yeah, I did... I don't know, do they, uh, they don't get all their health back if they catch on fire after you've done damage to them, right? Because I know they have more health just naturally as, you know, burning torsos, but do they get it all back? That would suck even more. I don't know, for my purposes, right now, it does not matter. All right. Oh, well, you know what? Out of all the big rooms I could have gotten, this one is not bad. The fact that it only has, uh, you know, ground enemies as opposed to flying enemies means I can hide inside of solid objects and be safe. Whereas the ones that consist of a lot of flies are a lot more tense. Okay, and I can just mop the rest of these guys up as they mill aimlessly about and leave creep behind, which does not concern me. Okay. And now you. Another key. Alright, what is the... Oh, okay, that is not bad at all. I don't know how much damage those uh, little splashes actually do relative to your basic tiers. Hmm. Well, I'd love to get that red candle, but nothing is very likely to give me the money I need. Mm, you know what? I I'm going to go fight the boss, and if I get Pageant Boy, then I'll come back and get the red candle. And if not, I'll just buy a bomb and try my luck with a Tented Rock. Gemini. Right, that seems like the sort of boss that can give me Pageant Boy. I'm not sure there's any rule against that. Hmm, I wonder if uh, Cricket's Body's uh, Splash Tears are going to help uh, regulate the knockback against Gemini. It seems like, uh, I don't know, maybe a little. Because, you know, the thing about Gemini, you probably know if you've fought him, is he can bounce around a little unpredictably, or, I don't know, not, not entirely unpredictably, but in a way that's surprising to uh, novices. And he can catch you, yeah, on the rebound, like when he does that. And I think the, the splash damage is cutting down a little bit on that. Although, clearly, not in all cases. Okay, well, that is not bad. I'll take a little Steven over, you know, not picking it up. 
which is a clearly inferior idea. Okay. Now back to the store to buy the bombs. If only I had more bombs, I could get some money out of the donation machine. But I'm not going to get more out of it than I paid, and certainly not enough to get me up to 15. Hmm, could be a quarter inside that pot. Nope. Okay, well, two keys is fine. I mean, I spent a key to get into the shop, so that five cents is wasted. But I feel okay about the risk I took. And down we go. Oh, what happens? Oh, this one. Man, that is, you know, I am, honestly, if that happened to me, I would be impressed. Like, projectile defecating is something I, I'm certainly not capable of. Wouldn't even know how to start training my body to do that. And at such a young age, too. It's very, I, I think those kids have a bright future ahead of them. Unlike Isaac, who, at, as of, uh, you know, as of becoming a lost, is already dead. All right, let's see what this accomplishes. All right. Hmm, I was hoping for a lot more than that, but fine. Oh. Yeah, much obliged. Oh, the splash damage can get at the, uh, get at these guys. All right, well, they didn't have anything for me. But I was still pleased. Hmm, yeah, the tears up and the splash damage from uh, Cricket's body, that does help take care of enemies a lot quicker. Hmm, the ha uh, yeah, little haunt. Uh, that's a good one. It takes a little coaxing to get him to actually latch on to an enemy, but he is persistent when he does. Uh, let's try it here. Zoop. See, when you leave the room, it uh, makes them all explode at the same time, rather than exploding in the order they appeared and bouncing each other around in a way that, uh, again, might be a bit difficult to predict. Depends on how the room's laid out and where they appear. Hmm... Yeah, I'm doing it. Oh, okay, well. That paid off. Yeah, and this, yeah, this is another room where I'm pleased to have uh, Cricket's body because if those, you know, if any group of spiders had charged me at the beginning, I would not have had the damage or the coverage to take it out in time, and maybe I would have gotten into the corner to hide in one of those pots quickly enough, but also maybe not. Hmm. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to use uh, Anarchist Cookbook again. Man. <sighs> Nothing. Okay, let's dive in and see what we get. Okay, so pin. Don't feel like I'll need to use the chariot for this one. I don't know, even if I could get the haunt to latch on to him, it probably wouldn't stick on. Yeah, see, because he teleports around, essentially. He does something which is essentially teleportation. Hmm, okay. Oh yeah, damage and range, that's a good one. Let's see, I think that increases the range of the uh, splash tiers, too? Maybe. Oh, great. Well, fine. We all have to fight a little Krampus every now and then. And actually, uh, yeah, the haunt might, uh, I think, yeah, the haunt could pretty much do it on his own. Uh, Krampus can't really get away from him. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to let him do it. Good on you, little guy. Ooh, nice. Yeah, along with the uh, range up. It's a good addition. Okay. 
Oh boy. Oh, good. Okay, yeah. He's walking away is good. Um, yeah, little haunt uh, really came through for me there. I, I think I could have gotten out of that situation on my own, but not having to is nice. Hmm, okay, well, I don't currently have a trinket, so I'll take that. And let's see what's in here. Hmm, excellent. Okay. All right, looks like I can pretty confidently declare where the uh, secret room is going to be, so here we go. Yep. Hmm. Oh, yikes. Yeah, those things have, uh, they have ended runs for me in the past. I was not pleased about it. And, yeah, I think I am, well, okay, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a shot. I was thinking maybe it would be a devil. Okay, well, fine. Dinner's out of the rotation, at least, I guess. That's something. I was thinking maybe it could be a devil beggar, and I could use the chariot, and maybe have enough invincibility to, you know, get something out of him. Okay, this, this is a nice leisurely room for me. If I couldn't fly, it would be a little more hectic. But as is, not much they can do to me. Yeah, just got to be careful and make sure I keep in mind which projectiles are mine. Not that it's difficult to distinguish them. It's just when there's a lot on screen, you know. Hmm. Well, obviously I was hoping for a guppy item. Nine lives would have been terrific. Uh, I think I can... Oh, oh, geez. Almost walked right into him. Because I realized I was standing in a place where it would spawn in. But they... Uh, one good thing is they don't hurt you right away if they spawn on top of you. There's a little bit of a grace period. Not sure how long exactly, but... Enough that it's saved me from death a few times. Hmm. Yeah, pretty good damage for this stage of the game. Hmm, okay, well... I don't need even more Anarchist Cookbook effects. I'm struggling to find opportunities to, uh, or excuses at least, to use the ones I have. Yeah, actually, you know, uh, Little Haunt is uh, more eager to fight enemies than I remember. I don't know if that was changed in a patch, or it's just my perception. Okay, well, oh man, okay, well, I have plenty of keys. Yeah. As always, uh, or as usual, Tammy's head is a uh, pretty good opener. Because, yeah, I think one of the things, one of the best things you can do for yourself when playing as a Lost, or really any character, is to clear out a room as quickly as possible, or at least take out as many enemies as possible as quickly as possible. And Tammy's head assists in that. You know, it can turn a room with five or so enemies into a room with much fewer than five. You know how math works. You know how, you know how some numbers are smaller than other numbers? That's the concept I'm trying to get across to you right now. I can slow down if you want. Hmm, nice. <laughs> yeah, I will... 
I will absolutely take care, let the haunt take care of anything he feels like taking care of. Hmm, okay. Well, I might as well make use of it. No, wait. Uh, okay. I forgot to go back and pick up Tammy's head. I should be using Tammy's head in every room. And I'll just leave Dad's key there for later, I guess. Next locked door I find. Ooh, nice. Mm, yeah, not picking that up. Yeah, I don't know how much of a damage boost uh, Tammy's head gives to your tears, but uh, it is pretty generous. Hmm, okay, well now I really want to find the store. Because there are all sorts of goodies I can and should pick up. Although I've got a pretty good setup. I mean, I, I don't think I would trade uh, Tammy's head for pretty much any other uh, spacebar item. This room, probably better to keep my distance than try to wade in and use Tammy's head in the middle of the fray. Oh man, if I could get a 9-volt, uh, that'd be great. Um, and this thing... Yeah, no point picking that up. That's just going to clutter up uh, any room I have it in. Yeah, I should have remembered to use... Uh, yeah, use Dad's uh, key. But I did not. Nice. Alright, nothing, and let's see what's in here. Jeez. Oh, Man, even the, uh, it seems like even the splash damage tiers are really powerful. Hmm, no. I'm gonna try this. Hmm. Nothing particularly impressive. Okay, well, that was worth uh, the trek, I think. Oh, right, I almost forgot. I did actually notice this a little while ago, but then I forgot about it, so... Can't take too much credit for noticing it. Okay, well, I spent a bomb and a key to get a bomb and a key. Fine. No objections here. And this looks like another situation where I can just let Chubb take care of it if I... I mean, let uh, Little Haunt take care of it. But I can help him along. Okay, sure, yeah. yeah shot speed, fine by me. Yeah, and again, Lil Haunt is doing excellent work. I would feel like too much of a coward if I didn't put myself in a little bit of risk to help out. Yeah, sure. Hmm. 
Yeah, it seems like my tears went down. Yeah, it may not have been a good exchange. No oh, spectral tears, okay. Yeah, I'd forgotten it did that. And uh, somebody posted on uh, the Binding of Isaac Reddit about how uh, experimental treatment does not do. I, it sounds like it doesn't even really come close to doing what it says it does. So that's, I don't know. I mean, I think a lot of the item descriptions are kind of oversimplifications, like SMB Superfan, I don't think it increases all stats. I think even in the original it de decreased speed. Not sure if it still does that. Anyway, the item descriptions are at very least better in, uh, in Rebirth. Oh yeah, Spectral Tears makes this... Oh, jeez, that, uh, yeah, almost died to a poop projectile there. That would be a little undignified. Alright, let's see, uh, I guess I'll take that. Yeah, nothing. <laughs> oh, geez, which one's mine? They are, yeah, there's, uh, yeah, he sports pretty much the same expression as the other guys. There's nothing particularly friendly about the way he looks, is there? But I know he's on my side. Okay. The results from that are not were not spectacular. Yeah, Pen is not difficult, but uh, he is a little difficult to hit, or at least to do a lot of sustained damage to, because the way he comes and goes. Oop. What do you got for me? Mm, not that interested. Almost dodge right into it. Yeah, these guys, they gave me a lot of trouble before I figured them out. Well, I could... Eh, sure. Could use a chariot to see what's in there. <laughs> nice. But I think I'll save it. Yeah, these guys, uh, before I learned to recognize this room as containing brimstone enemies, I charged into the middle, like, pretty much every time. Uh, yeah, sure, let's see what this gives me. Oh, okay, yeah, I, I could use speed up. I'm trying to see if maybe... Ooh. If just maybe this is the secret room. Oh, great. No, so I, I can uh, go into the curse room anyway, and I won't be facing greed in the store. It is good to know. Oh, and apparently uh, buying the steam sale on the previous floor was a waste of my money. Oh, wow. Holy Mantle. Very nice. Holy Mantle will protect me from uh, one hit per room, which is a pretty huge deal. That's why I, you know, was willing to uh, charge boldly into the middle of those spikes, because I could have taken exactly one hit. That's why I'm being a little more cavalier. So yeah, I can, uh, I don't know, I guess I shouldn't be using it as, as an opportunity to uh, play more poorly, but uh, playing with a little more confidence might actually make me better.
So these guys, luckily they don't, uh, like the brimstone guys don't appear to aggro when they're off screen. Because otherwise they could start aggroing when you couldn't see them and be pretty difficult to avoid. They're definitely bombing those skulls. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Okay, so that would be algae's. Hmm. Uh, yeah, okay. And let's see what's here. Ooh, okay. Yeah, might as well take both. I don't really have a... Okay, yeah, I can use that. Don't really have a source of spiders or flies at the moment, but... And I guess I'm not too likely to get one, considering uh, I'm all into uh, god rooms, angel rooms, and uh, unlikely to get a full guppy set. Certainly not impossible at this point, but unlikely. You know, if I pick up the left hand and get some lucky red chests, maybe. Yeah, I'm blowing this guy up. Hmm. What would that look like? Yeah. I don't know, I was never too sold on flatworm. It's, uh, it's fine. Okie dokie. Ooh, okay, um, the adversary has, uh, killed me before, pretty decisively. But I think I know how to deal with him. Yeah, killed me in episode one, didn't he? Oh, yikes. Yeah, better, definitely a lot better at circling him now. And I have a one-hit buffer. Things are looking pretty good. Oop. Yeah, range and shot speed. Yeah, sure. Yeah, range is excellent. Yeah, range definitely increases the range of the, uh, the secondary shots. Oh, do I want to fight the angel? I do not. Yeah, I already... Checked out the map. We're good to go. Oh, I left an algae's behind. Well, yeah, that was a bad move. I hmm, was really hoping for a uh, cricket's head or something, but can't all be winners. Yeah, Mask of Infamy would be nice, too, for even more damage protection. So yeah, this guy always gives me trouble. It's, oh, wow. Yeah, I dodged right into that, didn't I? Oof. I really should have been a little more on the ball in dodging that uh, brimstone. Yeah, you know what? I'm. This is making me nervous enough that uh, I'm just going to go for this. Oh, wow. Okay, I think maybe I had it in my head that I actually did have that algae I dropped. And so I acted as though the chariot was going to last a lot longer than it actually did. That was a real dumb death. My dumbest, probably, uh, at least in this series. So, yeah, we'll all We'll all do a little better, try a little harder next time. All is lost.